Carpe diem. I t- <laughs> Carpe, Carpe diem. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, Marin Country Days, you know, besides my family, is my life. My sisters were all teachers. My father was a, a, a teacher, professor, and a superintendent of schools. My mother was a teacher of first grade. When I actually uh, got this job, I remember uh, my father and I sitting uh, in the house there in Tiburon, and, uh, and I said, so dad, you know, what, what are the important things to remember uh, every day about teaching? And he said, uh, treat every child like they're special and that you know something about each and every one of them. Uh, they'll always be surprised and all of a sudden the, the world will open up to you and to them. The school has given me um, that which we all seek outside our family and that's an extended community that you're part of that, that loves you back. I feel like I've gotten that uh, opportunity to make a difference and, and be part of, um, of something much bigger than myself. You know, that it's, it's such an incredible community. You know, you walk around uh, through the school and whether it's outside or you walk by the class and, and see a teacher um, you know, with some skit or some play that the kids are so involved in and, em- and emotional about and passionate about and will remember for their lives. Teaching is that constant uh, process of learning that you don't know it all, that you um, are taught by other teachers, uh, Mostly I'm taught by students, and um, I think teaching is a difficult profession to put your hands around because what is right right now or today uh, for kids is, isn't right for them later. Uh, it's changing and being willing to change, and I'm constantly thinking, God, am I doing the right thing uh, for, for them? History is a storytelling. I think I bring that storytelling um, uh, uh, style to to my classes. Uh, often we'll be talking about the Renaissance or whatever and I'll tell a story about something that happened in the Florence or when, when I was with Chapman College and traveling around the world things that I saw and did and experienced. I want the students to know me. I want them to, to look at the pictures that I have of other students or students who uh, write a postcard from Florence about, oh my gosh, here I am at the Duomo Hutch, it's just like you said. I always welcome the children and I always thank them for coming to my classroom. My father taught and told me when I first started teaching, he said, always have things on your desk that they'll come to play with, you know, and I, I have globes and different games and so forth, because you want to invite them to converse with you. Teaching is not only uh, the knowledge that you might gain or the skills that you might gain. It's also being there for them. A student should w- want to come to my classroom, uh, if not to find out what, what tie I'm wearing that day, which is different every day. Uh, but what's, what's he going to do today? Is he going to throw a spear? Is, are we going to, are we gonna uh, you know, uh, push the desks aside and have, have a gladiator game? I want the students to to have a passion for life and know that life's exciting. And you get out of life what you put in. The richness of it is, if you give to people, it, what, what goes around comes around. Recognizing differences. I, I really think that our school has come light years from, and, and actually is way out in front of being able to let and understand and appreciate different family dynamics, different needs for kids. The children here have uh, as I don't have any children, I don't have any kids, um, are, 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 are the children that I identify as mine. So for me, it's, it's given me that fulfillment and that need as a, um, as a human being to relate and to try to nurture and guide or mentor um, kids. You know, I, I want to tell them that they matter. And I want them to have that sense that um, that who they are and them being here is important. When the kids are not here, it's just a bunch of buildings. It doesn't become a school and magical until the kids are here. I need to be there for um, for the kids. I, uh, I, I, I loved being with the kids. Children are my life. 
and this school. And when my time comes, it'll be tough. But I come because they're here, and I, and I hope I can make a difference. <laughs>